Well, hello everyone. Welcome. It is the CEB Champions League Volleyball Semi-Finals of 2023. What a day to be alive. Today, two of the three Turkish teams that have qualified for the Final Four are going to be facing off. You see a few of the faces there getting off the buses. That is the visiting team. Benarachi coming off their bus. Getting ready, as you mentioned. It's going to be reigning champions, Vak Bank Istanbul, against this runaway train of Fenerbahce. Would you please comment for the game? Well, you know very well, semi-final of Champion League, uh, especially with Vak, if, uh, they won practically all competitions last season. Uh, the best or one of the best teams in the world, definitely. And uh, they used to, they know how to play these kind of games, you know. This is very important uh, in the semi-final of Champion League. From another side, we have a lot of, lot of players that never played practically these kind of games. But uh, I really hope that our motivation and our energy will be on a very high level, maybe more than Vakif. And this is our chance, of course. It will be difficult, of course. It will be nice for spectators. Uh, I hope it will be quality, not just one, both games. And, of course, I hope then we can pass Vakif this time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Of course, Trent is to be focused, to play against, uh, against this kind of team that they have a lot of experienced players uh, who are uh, at the top of the world. It's really important to be focused and to follow the game. To be sure to be uh, to fight for every point because, of course, they will put us in really hard, in hard and difficult situations. So uh, we need to keep fight. We need to put our heads up in the difficult moments so we can be in the game. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coach, could you please comment for the game? <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, very, very difficult game. I think for both teams. Of course, Fenerbahce is in a great condition. Win 5 set 0 against Conegliano is not something that any team can do. So they are in a great shape. They have these three incredible attacker and, and server. And that we have to try to make less, um, um, try to make less do less. You know, because we know that we do a lot of points, these three attackers. But we are ready. We are in a great condition. We are Vakibank. And we, we like to fight this kind of game. First of all, it's a tough game. Uh, so, what are your comments for the game? Yeah, it's gonna be a really tough game. I cannot wait to play, and uh, for sure, we will try to do our best in the court and push until the end. Uh, what do you think? I mean, what is the most important point for the win, or what is your strength today? I guess first we have to receive our best, and then we just have to kill the ball. But first of all, we have to receive and then think about the other things. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Well, a little sneak peek into the minds of the coaches and a couple of the players there. I love what Vakibank coaches Giovanni Guidetti said. Well, we're Vakibank, so at the end of the day, we're just going to go out there and do what we do. But he gave a lot of props there to Fenerbahce for beating Corneliano 3-0. Well, that is not what a lot of teams are able to do. But having said that, he did steal, well, or not... Not stole, but you know, he convinced one of the best players in the world, Paolo Gonu, who incidentally played for Conigliano for several years previously, to come and play for him in Vacket Bank. So he's looking good right now with those players and the team that he's put together there, the coaches. Just, just having their pregame rituals. Well, my name is Key Michael. I'm so, so excited to be your host for today's matchup as we get a sneak peek into the locker rooms as well. You heard in the names of these two teams that they didn't have to travel too far on those buses they just got off of. All three Turkish teams in this final four hail from the same city here in Istanbul. That's for the first time in any Champions League history that three teams are from the same city. The only other country to actually do that was Italy in 2021 with Conigliano, Busto, and Novara, who you might have seen in action last night. The third team to qualify from Turkey was Zajibashi, Dinovic, Istanbul. They fell yesterday to the Italian side, 3-2.
as Novara made a comeback. They were down. Well, Zajibashi was down two sets to zero. And then Novara came back there in that fifth set. But all the players on court right now will be well aware of the challenge ahead. Both these teams are world-renowned for their strength. Venerbahce did win the title in 2012, but Vakitbank have been the team to beat in recent years with a whopping five Champions League gold medals to their name. There on your screen, you can see the four contenders that are vying for the bid into that final two spot. Of course, these two teams, they will know each other so well. They've played against each other countless times in the domestic league with many players overlapping in the national team for Turkey or having played one on some players from Vakitbank having played at Fenerbahce and vice versa. But uh, they've been drawn together, this Vakitbank and Fenerbahce team, for just the fifth time in Champions League and the fourth time in the semifinals previously, 2011, 2016, and 2022. They also met in the playoffs in 2015. Vakitbank, however, won all four previous Champions League ties with Fenerbahce. Last season, Vakitbank needed that golden set, 15-11, to beat Fenerbahce in the semifinals after a 3-1 win and an 0-3 loss. Gabby scored 40 points for Vakitbank in those two matches. Melissa Vargas scored 51 points for Fenerbahce. Now, both those players remain on their respective teams this season, and you're likely to see them out there on court again today. Earlier this season in the Turkish League, Vakitbank beat Fenerbahce 3-1 at home back on the 13th of November. Igonu scored 33 points for the hosts in that match. Arina Fedorovseva had 28 points for the visitors. Fenerbahce, however, did turn things around drastically later in the season, and they beat Vakitbank 3-0 on the 5th of February. Vargas scored 23 points for Fenerbahce, and Paul Igonu had just 16 points for Vakitbank. So you can really see how these players, some of these stars, there's Palagono on your screen right now, can really make or break a team. Their impact is huge, Ikonu, one of them. So this matchup has all the makings of an epic five-setter, but we will just have to wait and see how that pans out. Back at Bank, as mentioned earlier, they've won this Women's Champions League a record five times, including last season, so they're the reigning champs. They were also the last side to retain their trophy in this competition. They won in 2017 and again in 2018. So the question is, can they do that again tonight? Well, tonight won't be the deciding factor. There are, is another second leg of this semifinal and then they have to get through to the finals. But this is the first step. Every step is just one step in the right direction. Vakitbank have reached the final a record eight times. They've won five of them, including five of the last six completed campaigns. Of course, that does not include the 2020 season, when, which was not completed due to COVID. Um, the only true exception in that group was 2019 when they were eliminated in the semifinals. On the other side of the net, Fenerbahce, they're hoping to reach the Champions League final for the third time after 2010 when they lost to Bergamo from Italy and 2012 when they won against Ashley Can of France. Fenerbahce, not on your screen right now. This is Vakibank's team. There's some players here that you're definitely going to recognize. Iganu, one of them. Gabi, another one. Bajema was a big player last time they stepped on court as well. But for Fenerbahce, they've reached the semifinals or the final four. This will be the seventh time for this team. Some of these players were part of it last time. They lost their last three semifinals in 2016, 2019, and 2022. Last season, they were eliminated by none other than Vakitbank after a golden set, which mentioned earlier. Arina Fedorotseva is the top scorer for her team in this Champions League, 145 points. Last season, she finished fourth in the scores ranking on 160. And that Russian phenomenon also leads all the players with 30 aces in this Champions League campaign. That's 12 more than the next closest player, who is Meg Volovich of Tenerife. Melissa Vargas on your screen. She scored 77 points of this season's Champions League. 51 points for Fenerbahce in last season's semifinal against Vakitbank. She added another 23 points against them in their Turkish League clash on the 5th of February. Well, Gabby, she is a well-known, more or less a household name at this point in volleyball. She is coming back to try to secure the title for 
a second time in a row. Step aside to respect. Quick moment of silence followed by the Champions League anthem, which still gives me chills to this day. These players have worked so hard to get to this position and they have everything on the line now. And it is so fun to watch, so fun to be a part of, not only commentating it, having formerly been a player in this position, but now get to welcome you guys in. Join us for the excitement. Well, these two teams so well matched, as we heard earlier. Rocket Bank have reached the semifinals of the Champions League. This will be the 11th straight season since 2013. Paligonu is their club's top scorer, 197 points. So have a look out for her. Chiaco Bogu, 25 points from kill blocks. She has only been beaten by one other person. That's, well, actually tied. Player from Valero Luc Le Canet. The referees. For this matchup, David Fernandez Fuentes of Spain, Ojan Kaji Charikaya of Turkey. Well, just about ready to get underway. Probably going to meet the players pretty soon. There, well, there you go. There's the starting lineup of Istanbul Vakif Bank version. Gabi and Karabajma on the outside. Jansu and Paula Igonu. Gunesh will be through the middle. Coach Giovanni Guidetti, head coach of Turkey since 2017. Now head coach of Serbia. Swapped that with Daniele Santarelli, also of Italy. We'll be meeting Fenerbahce's team first, as they are the visitors. Oh, I don't know if you can even read those names. Eda Erdem, Uchkova in the middle. Uh, Christina no, my eyes aren't good enough, but <laughs> we'll get to see who's out on the court eventually. Zoran Tetsic is the head coach. He's been with Fenerbahce since 2018. Also the head, also head coach of Russia, formerly Serbia, where Giovanni Gudetti will be heading shortly. There's Melissa Vargas. Well, no surprise, some of these starters here for Vakif Bank Iganu in that last matchup had 36 points from 74 attacks. Karabajma had 19 points and Jerry Gunash had 11. So that is a fair amount of firepower on Vakif Bank's side. Of course, Gabby been with Vakis since 2019, Olympic silver medalist from 2021. Vera Gunash through the middle. She's been here since 2017. Well, actually on and off since 2011, but at best middle blocker at the Club World Champs in 2022 is uh, Gunesh. So watch out for a lot of stuff from her. Karabajma, as Mel mentioned, American outside hitter, formerly of Shesho in Poland. Well, Jansu Ojbe, the 
setter of Turkey. Best setter of Champions League in 2022. We'll have the first serve to get us underway. Rakit Bank on the right in the yellow. Fenerbahce in the blue for this semi-final matchup. A battle of the titans. A clash of the greats and the first shots are fired. Fenerbahce, first point on the board. Macris. Center from Brazil. First serve for Fener. Ajima looks for it. Does she get the hands? She does not. So the first point. Well, the first attempted attack from Bakipank. No good. Two points in the direction of Fenerbahce. That's a good start for them here in Bakip's home gym. Tough serve. Tight ball. Handled well, but a chance now to recycle for Bakip Bank. Off the hands goes Iganu. Doesn't score. Vargas into the hands and out. Cleverly done. Well, three points in the right direction if you're a Fenerbahce fan. Not so much if you're here for Vakif Bank. Macris. Another tough serve, but that's handled well. Tip is picked up. Vargas again. Cross court. Good dig. Egon is going to have a shot down the middle. That's how it's done. Well, Iganu, as we mentioned earlier, played for Corneliano from 2019 to 2022. It was a huge addition to this Fenerbahce, or excuse me, Vakit Bank squad. Oh, great swing through the middle. Sina Uchkova, the 31-year-old Bulgarian, played in China earlier this season. With that swing. And the youngster, 19 years old, Fedotseva. The Russian with eight aces last time she took the court and does not wait to get her first here against Vakif Bank. Start counting, ladies and gentlemen. She is one of the best servers in the game, hands down. Goes for it again, this time handled nicely. And that's how you do it. Get her off the line immediately. You do not want Fedorseva to go on a serving run. That's for sure. Gunesh. Vargas is dug. Chance again for Iganu. Quick tip. But that's the easy read. No, it's not. Overpassed. Well, well, well. Looked like it was coming up super clean from the libero of Fenerbahce. And everyone putting up their hands. Jaco Gwogu didn't skip a beat. Saw it, stole it. Good line serve again. Back to Vargas. She's covered. And ball outside. And Christina with her first swing. On the tip again, landing. Vakifan getting themselves back into business. Great defense there out of Gunesh. Whenever you see a middle blocker defending, it's got to be worth double, right? Good serving run from her. It's 4 5 now. Outside the block sends it la well, long, wide, whatever adjective you want to use there, but it doesn't go back in the court. Renabachi have put themselves in a good position here with a couple points of advantage in the beginning stages of the match. Kutkova gets them in it even further. Comes the superstar, 24 year old Italian opposite. Their first season outside of Italy. 
speaking of phenomenons, though, Ana Cristina, the 18-year-old Brazilian, also has only ever played in Brazil, left her home country to come here and play for Fenerbahce. Doing fantastic work as well. Great serve. Ball coming back. Oh, hustle. What a hustle. Beautiful work by Fa Fenner. Well, all those hopes and dreams for that rally. All the effort that Vakifank put into that. Well, Vakri says, here you go. Can have it right back. A little Brazilian on Brazilian love there with Gabby up at the net as well. Vargas. Strong serving. Benarabachi are absolutely relentless from the end line. Well, we knew coming into this, serving is one of their strengths. They had 10 aces last time when they faced Corneliano. Great ball up. Cross court. Nicely done. Gabby responding on cue. Now, I don't know what's going on in that little huddle, but you can imagine Gabby just trying to keep everyone cool and calm, remind them, hey, it's going to be a long match. This is where we turn it on, switch on our minds, and focus on what we can do. Well, that's what Ederdem can do. She was pretty quiet in the attacking in the last couple of games that I've watched out of them. She's been sort of quiet in the offense. But not today, it looks like. She had only one kill last time against Corneliano. Good start for her already. Ajima, Doug. Outside, Fedorceva with a hot swing. Picked up, though. Igonu, she's dug in the backcourt. Chance again for Vargas. And she finds it. Claims it. Forces Igonu to play some defense. That sharp cross shot's going to work. Nine times out of ten. Just past the hands of the block. 11-6. Huge lead for Fenerbahce. Again, tough serving. Oh, great pickup off the block. Perotseva gets it through. Now, this may not be how the rest of the match progresses, but it has been a long time. I don't know if I can ever remember the time that Vakibank has been put under such pressure as Fenerbahce is sending them right now. Then we are not organized good in transition. And the ball goes to Federoceva. Who can say that? And in transition, we are perfect on Federoceva against Jansu. We'll be there and we wait. Okay? Remember, Vargas from one. And in transition, from one high ball. is more diagonal. Transition, Vargas, one diagonal. Transition, transition, Vargas, two linear. One and two is different. Okay? Okay? Some great insight there from Giovanni Guadetti. They will have scouted each other for well, all season long, probably. They've already had to play each other twice in the Turkish League. But Vargas from zone one, meaning when she attacks from the back court, she hits more diagonal than when she hits from the front, bar, front court on the high ball. So that's where he's asking his blockers to pay attention. That slight difference, but really important. Oh, the tip falls. Iganu finding a way to score. Now, it didn't look as if that was an impossible ball to pick up. Perhaps just a miscommunication there. The speedy action of Gizem. Kako Bogu. Great pickup. Through the block. Smart play on the outside. 
targeting that mismatched block. You can see there Chaka Bogu putting her hands together, saying there was a bit, a tiny bit of a space between Jansu and Gunesh. I'll tell you how many times I've turned around to see that action, those two hands just signaling, hey, close it up. And here at this top level, all these players are much better than I ever was, but certainly high level blocking on both sides. Gunesh, one of the best in the game. There's the tip picked up. Here comes Iganu. Harder swing and the block lands all the way on the other side of the court. So not a stuff block by any means. But the rest of the players kind of just watching it drift wide off the hands. Fenerbahce making it really difficult for Rakit Bank. Especially if they continue serving like that. Now the, the attacker in the middle front, which she'll get credit for that. For recognizing it and executing on it. But the serving of Macris is what put her in a position to get that ball. Tough serve again. Outside, block, covered. Free ball for Fenne. Tip thrown, easily read. Chance again. Now Gabby this time is dug by her Brazilian counterpart. And a little cheeky roll over the block deep. That is all it takes. Anna Cristina making it look easy from the backcourt. She's got one block in front of her. Finds her way through Gunesh. Timeout. You can keep Xa now. Xa. And she's there again for the show, so we have to reopen all the net, okay? Keep this guy again, eh? Little more attention in transition. Little more attention. We are good on Federal Seva. And just we are here. And if you just stay straight, this ball we take. Okay? And it's good, eh? Boy, this Cara. We use good the setter. Okay? It was almost blocked out. Keep it in the setter. Right? Okay. I gotta appreciate the positivity from Giovanni Guidetti at this moment. His team is down. 16 to 8. But he knows better than anyone that this is going to be a long game. It is not, is far from over. So just giving a lot of positive feedback to his players about what they're doing right. I like that. There we go. There's something that's going right. The power of positive thinking. Huge stuff from Gunesh. Reads that really well. Gets that inside arm over, and that's exactly what Giovanni said they were doing well, blocking on Fedorotseva. Now, Karabajimet trying to put the same pressure back onto Fenerbahce that they have been feeling. And it's so tough when you're back there at the end line. You want to put pressure on your opponent without making errors. It's a really tough balance. I'd say Fedorotseva has that balance. Down, Pat, two aces. Whoever, wherever you are, hope you're keeping a tally. Ace serve again for the 19-year-old. And she go for two in a row. Not this time. Well handled. Gabby sends it back, but it's coming. Another chance off the blockers. That'll do nicely. Well, only one ace that time for Fedorotseva. Good work by Bajama to handle that, get it high in the middle of the court so Bakifan can run their offense. I think that's, that's kind of the tactic when you're going up against these really tough serving teams. You just have to keep the ball high and playable. Don't try and get it too perfect. Benerbachi, continue the roll. Now Christina was the best opposite of the South American champs in 2021. You can see why getting past that big block. Vogwogu and Igonu. Finds it deep over the block and then just tagging that end line. There's not going to ever, often won't be a blocker 
or a defender behind the block. So if you can hit high enough that you're over the block into that zone, it's going to be free court all day. Well, a little change for the sub for the serve. John Su Chetin. Traditionally a libero, but coming in to serve. Oh, and still a tough serve. I can see why. Libero or not, she's got some heat on it. And again, Fenerbahce just making it look easy against one of the best teams in the world, the reigning champions of this competition on the right side of your screen, down 10 points in this first set. All right, back at bank, making some changes already. Nika dialed it up of the Netherlands, 24-year-old outside hitter in to stabilize some reception, but no good. Another strong serve, forcing, well, a quick swing from Ogbogu, but hey, the Erdem, watching like a hawk, one of the most veteran in the game. Well, it's late stages in the game, 22 to 10. Well, in the set, I should say. Is this a time for a challenge? Ogbogu looked pretty convinced. And I think that's the trick to this challenge system. If you're sure, not if you're hoping, dreaming, praying. If you're sure, go speak clearly, communicate to your coach. I think X, Y, and Z. I think the ball was in. I think it was a touch. I think there was a net touch, a block touch. Whatever it is that you saw on the court, because the coach can't see everything. Oof. Unlucky, it was close. But nothing is seeming to fall back at Bank's way right now, and the crowd has been absolutely hushed. Ten points for Vakif, 22 for Fenerbahce. And the swing from Igonu goes wide. You don't hear that statement very often. One of the most consistent in the game. As mentioned last time around, she had something like 74 attempts to attack. And scored 36 of them. Things going from bad to worse. Another ace serve for Fenerbahce. This time from Chetin. Set point. Off the net with some help. Gabby, tip throw. That's read by Bedrotseva. And Fenerbahce with a tip through the block. A touch on the block. Close it out astoundingly. The perfect execution. The set long, high, wide. Anna Christina just slicing it down the line. What a connection between her and Macris. And there you go. It's done. It's over. Blink and you miss it. Less than 20 minutes was that set. 25 to 10. In Vakipang's home gym, no less. Well, I can't say that any of us were expecting that. Unless you've seen Fenerbahce play before. They have been on an absolute rampage.
Well, typically this is the kind of, for lack of a better word, butt whooping that Vakit Bank hands to other teams. It's been a while since they've felt this kind of pressure themselves, but here we find ourselves. Benabachi staking a claim in the first set. A huge statement has been made here in Vakit Bank's gym. And I'm just waking, waiting for my statistics to load, but I think you guys know where I'm going with this. There was not a single player that you could just say, all right, if we shut down that one player, we've got, we've got it in the bag. On Fenerbahce's side, you've got Fedorov Seva getting at least two aces. You've got Ede Ertem Dundar making it really tough to know where Macris is going to set. She's always available. You've got Vargas on the outside, Anna Cristina as well. There just isn't really anywhere, any weak spots right now in Benavachi's game. Bakit Bank were put under the pump from the very first serve every single time. A lot of balls just shanking left, right, going high in the middle. So Jansu unable to run her game, unable to use her middle often. Then when she does try and use her middle, that's when the blockers are all over it. So there's a look at some of the stats. Four aces for Venerachi. Two blocks, and you can see 22 receptions. That means that Bakibang was just receiving basically the entire game. Well, the question now is, will there be any changes? What is it that Giovanni Guidetti can do? to change things for this set. What can he tell his players? What can he ask of his players? Are the tactics correct? Do they need to just wait it out? We will see set number two is underway. Fenerbahce have the first serve, but Vakit Bank have the first firepower through Ganu on the right side. Now, not the toughest swing we've seen from her, but smart, deep shot over the block. Good serve by Vakif. Cross court. Oh, great dig. Oh, Ganu picked up. What a dig off of an Ganu swing. There's the one we're talking about. Right down to the middle back. Anna Christina just sitting in that pocket, reading so well. Pedroceva past the big block in front of her. And now she's back on the line. Two aces for her. Will she go for another one? Not this time. Well, the stats have loaded. Four points she had in the last set. And Christina had five. Lisa Vargas had six. A couple sprinkled in for Vuchkova and Ede Erdem as well. So just a really spread out offense. That one going to Anna Christina again to add to her tally. On Vakit Bank's side, Polygonu had three points. Gabby had three. Really no one else making any waves. Ogogu had one. And Der Gunash also with one. So for that man on your screen, Giovanni Guidetti, he's got some questions that need to be answered. And I think it starts with the reception. First point of attack, but Fenerbahce have absolutely figured it out. Tough from the service line. Getting back, back if out of system so they can really read, read well and rely on their block. There we go. Another one. And another one. Everyone of Fenerbahce is racking up some aces right now. One going to Vuchkova. Tough swing off the block and out. Even when there's a huge block in front of her, Anna Christina finding ways to make something happen for her team. 
Oh, top serve again. Almost impossible, that one. And another point going the way of Fenerbahce. Bakifang asking some questions. Did that touch one of the players? Looks like they were pointing to somebody's foot. But no luck. Six to two. Wuchkova still at the line. Just long. Letting it Fener back off the off the hook. Gonu gets Fenerbahce off, but it does not seem to matter. Even from the three meter line, Macris is setting with speed, with height, with absolute precision. Watch how perfect that ball is. Goes all the way to the antenna and it's still high. So Anna Christina, all she has to do is snap that down the line. Fenerbahce making it look so easy right now. It's not, let me tell you. And another bit of a breather off of an unforced error. Ada Erdem up early and connecting well. Just that darn net getting in the way. That'll happen. Captain Ada Erdem. 35 years old. Played in Fenerbahce since 2008. Vargas. Now remember, from the backcourt, goes a little bit more cross-court, so the blocker is lined up perfectly on her. The only, only thing that they needed or could have done is to finish those hands back into the court, but so much easier said than done. In theory, that could help, but in reality, it was a tough swing. Tight set for Gon, who can't swing on it. Fedorotseva can, and again, off hands and out. Fenerbahce doing a fantastic job of swinging really high. So that's what you're seeing now with all these balls going out of bounds off the block. They're really working the block in front of them. Time out. Everybody to do everything good. Not that we have just to and we have table. You have to receive good. She has to set good. Beat them. Not we have one to help each other and just a mess. We cannot take full break when we will save ourselves. That we cannot take. When we will save ourselves, we make side down. Finish. Because if we are just there attacking on your head, on your head, only Anna Christine is over. Just our head, middle of our head. Little bit of trust and confidence. Okay. Well, we didn't even need a microphone in that timeout, Giovanni. Letting his thoughts be known to anyone in the vicinity. He's a little upset as you can imagine, but these are the moments that coaches, well, you dream about being in this kind of match. You just want your team to do the best they possibly can and give them all the tools they need to get there. And sometimes a little bit of friendly motivation, we can call it, is in, in order. Jaka, 27-year-old American. Good serve and a block to back it up. And there we go for Vakif Bank. A good run of defense. Gunesh working hard to get from one side of the court all the way to the other one. And closing up to her outside blockers, making a good, solid block. That'll do nicely. It's now 6-9. Chaka with a tough serve. Does she get an ace? Oh, not yet. How? How Fenerbahce got that back into play. And a block. And eventually, Vakifank find a way through. Man, Fenerbahce just making it impossible. There's the tough serve. Vargas sacrificing her body to get that back into play. Eventually, Bajima doing nice work on that cross-court cut. Chaka still at the line. 
Great dig from Gavi. Over pass, though. McCree sends it out. Oh, the pickup is there from Magano, but she's out of the offense now. Bajima has to send with two hands. All the options for Fenerbahce. That one will do. Clever move from Fedorotseva. That happened half a play ago when she put the ball on the floor in front of Iganu. There it is. Now Iganu is out of the offense. They have a more of a chance of making the defense and then they can go again. So it's not just about the first ball kill. It's about what you do, what you, how you make the players on the other side move into the way you want them. All just pieces of the puzzle. Some luck there for Rocket Bank. That ball coming high off the blockers. Plenty of time for a defensive play. Just a miscommunication between the middles. It's not always the middle's fault. Come on, guys. Top serve. Nice one. Free ball for Rocket Bank. Opportunity now. Boom. There it is. That's what we've been waiting to see. Ball brought back in, has to be sent as a free ball, easy. And then a quick, sharp, short inside for Ganu. No blockers in sight. And now we are back to within one point in this set. Overpass, Iganu blocked. Wow, huge block for Makris. Was it Vuchkova or Makris who got that block? I, it was too quick for me even to see. Makris, wow. So clever. Konu just wanted that so badly. Great tip. Out of the net. No, it's not. So point for point. Vakibank staying with them. Vakri's down for a little bit longer than expected. Hope she's all right. Both these teams sacrificing their bodies, putting it on the line for their teams. While well, the immediate response from Vakif Bank forced Macris to set, gets that a little bit low for her middle. One handed setback, that'll do beautifully. Don't count out Macris just yet. Might have been down for a second. Right back up with a one-handed set behind. Right now, Fedorotseva, 18-year-old Russian MVP of the Turkish Super Cup. No luck on that occasion in her serve. Well, she does have already two aces. Had those eight aces last time out on court. So we'll give her we'll give her an error. We'll we'll allow it. Great swing. Vargas. She has been an absolute stud for Fenerbahce. Only 23 years old, played in China earlier this season. And has been working with Fenerbahce since 2018. Uchkova. Gabby goes off the block. Ball goes right back to Vargas, and again, she just does not miss. The firepower in that arm, but the precision as well. She's not just swinging blindly every time. She knows exactly where the blockers are. She's either aiming high off their hands, or if they leave her that line, she will absolutely take it. Good response from Iganu. Storms back to the line to serve after that. No time for celebrations. It is all business. And you know what happens when you start to see that face on Paolo Iganu. You don't poke the bear because the bear comes to fight. Aggressive serve. Goes off hands. 
Chance outside for Gabby with the roundhouse swing. She's dug. Free ball coming back over and somehow in. Nope, it's been called out. So the rule there is the ball has to go inside the antennas. So from that angle, the question is whether or not she was able to get the ball from where Coach Tetrich is standing to the angle across the other side of the net while going through the imaginary extension of the two antennas. Well, I know physician. That's our intention. Pretty sure that was legal. I guess the volleyball gods will decide. Big swing out. And that's in the business is what we like to say. The ball never lies. That might have been Fenerbahce's point that was stolen, but they got it right back. We have another game on our hands now. It's 14 to 15. Much better scoreline already than the first set. If you're a Vakifank fan. Interesting. Ball overpassed. I'm going to have to have a look at that again. So this looks like that ball has definitely crossed the plane of the net. But nevertheless, fenerbahce has been called over the net so we will trust the referees and on we go chance for vacuum bank things getting a little scrappy on both sides i have to say things getting a little bit scrambly after things going so so well for fenerbahce over the last well few minutes now they are having to fight. Back to bank, not a team you can ever count out, and there's why. Huge block from Jansu. Backed up by Chaco Bogu right next to her, one of the best blockers in Champions League last season. Oh, the idea was right, target the smaller blocker. But she's there for it. Time out. She already can triple. What? All attacks is lying over the net like this. All. Only one thing that we cannot do. Diagonal better. Just not this, okay? Hide those kind of balls, for example, defense is on three Ari. High ball. Every time. Very high ball. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have another look at this last block from Jansu. She's there. She's not the tallest player in the front. So you can see why Anna Christina is aiming for her. But the trick is to still go high. You want to target either the fingertips or the thumb or the side of the arms or the elbow. But if you have a small blocker in front of you that's going straight over and tough, aggressive, just do not aim for that small little zone. Of course, as always, easier said than done. Gabby with her team's two-point advantage at the moment. Lowers it to one. Good idea to switch things up, though. Sign of a good server. Some short shots go deep, some go short. Sometimes they don't make it over the net, but the intention was there. Down by one now, Fenerbahce in a different position than last set. Tough block. Jansu pushes that tight to Bajima. Does she get a tip? No touch. Again, trying to do only what she could. Really tight set. The blockers had the advantage there. What she wanted to do was push it off the hands and out of bounds. But they didn't give up the fingers. 17 all now. Oh, great up. Chance for the middle. There it is. The moment utilized to perfection. 
You almost knew it was going to go to the middle. I'm surprised that Ada Erdem took a step in the opposite direction because Jansu hasn't been able to get her middle running with the reception that she's had. So that was absolutely the moment to find Chaka, and she does. Quick change for the serve. Data. Chebetiolu, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Vargas, Doug. Jansu pushing it back to Iganu, and does she clip the line? Yes, she certainly does. Found that corner. Love that pushback from Jansu. Look at the width on it. So the blockers are leaving so much space baseline doesn't even take it still scores cross court all the points looked like it was awarded to Fenerbahce well maybe not 2017 timeout called Well, it's always fascinating to hear into the timeouts what the coaches are asking of their players. Now, that's a good choice by Fedorotseva. She saw that line wide open. That's Zoran Tetic just reminding his players, hey, we're one set up. We're down by three. We are well and truly in this game. I want to see it on your faces. But you're here to fight. And they have been fighting. Can they deliver? Yes, they can. Captain Ada Erdem Dundar. I'd love to see that set from Macris as well. She's not using her middles often, but when she does, it's the correct choice because the blockers on the other side are not prepared for it. They cannot be everywhere at once. So as soon as you have a chance to introduce that speed behind, it's going to be really tough to slow down. Another serve, another ace, and the high five with the coach, Ada Erdem Dundar, leading from the front as a captain joins the ranks of the ace club for Fenerbahce. And on no other than Gabby, one of the best receivers in the world, potentially. Another good shot. Vargas is blocked and Fenerbahce having a bit of joy eventually. Finally, oh, that was very close to being two aces in a row. But this last swing here, Vargas, now they, ha they know she wants to go cross on that backcourt attack. And they're not going to let her. Nancy lets Fenerbahce back off the hook. Cannot take your eye off the prize. Macris, she's got an ace. And she get another one. Goes for the libero on the right side. Iganu with a fast flipper behind. Barely even an approach. Just a one-two step and a jump. And hits way over the block, deep into the court. Oh, the aggression from the end line continues, but somehow Fenerbahce make it all about them. They have been miraculously getting out of some really tough spots. Macris responding. And Fedorotseva, even though she was the one who almost got aced, was full throttle. Gabby with the roundhouse. 
It really is a battle of the titans between these two teams. Some of the best players ever to play the game are going head to head here tonight. And it is fireworks every single time. Well, Bacchus with a two point advantage. Serving to Anna Christina, but absolutely no mercy right on Jansu. And I hope she's okay. That looked really, uh, that looked intense. Well, the sportsmanship is there. She says, does apologize afterwards, but look how much line there is. And she's not hitting straight down. She's hitting deep into the court. Nothing Jansu could do but just throw her hands up. Well, another Jansu on the other side now. Chetin. Goes back in for her serve. She had some success in the last set. The block is covered. Igonu again off the hands. Great defense from Macris. High ball set to Vargas, who goes into the angle, and how. How she found that sharp angle past the block of Chiaka. Oh, put her hand up saying, no, oh, maybe I was floating just a little bit, but man, what a comeback. 22, sorry, 23 all. Well, I have to say this stadium packed with thousands of Turkish Vakif Bank fans. They've been quieted all first set. And they seem to have lost their voices once again. As Fenerbahce now on the verge of stealing this set from out from under Vakif Bank's claws. Well, that ball called out, which would pull up set point for Fenerbahce. Question, was there a touch? Was it in? There are two different conflicting requests from Chiaka and from Igonu. She looked convinced it was in. Gabby does not look convinced of the same thing. What do you guys think at home? In, out, block touch, or just a straight point to Fenerbahce? Not that we have any vote or any say in it, but you know. We're just, we're just commenting, just questioning things, watching, observing, admiring, if you will. Oh, the challenge was for touch. I don't see one. Neither does the referee. Let's have another look at it. No touch. Well, we didn't clearly see if it was in or out, but that means Set point, Fenerbahce. Not an ace. Not an ace. An ace serve on set point for Jansu Chetin. What a way to step in and deliver for your team. Fenerbahce coming from behind. And an ace serve that falls just a couple meters outside the court without a single body going for it well that is not the kind of Fenerbahce or this kind of Vakif Bank response that any of us would expect but there you have it Fenerbahce jumping for joy rightfully so two sets up against Vakif Bank now shortly we'll have a chance to speak to some of the coaches. Well, there's only two coaches that we'll have a chance to speak to, but always curious what they have to say at this midpoint in the match. Things going really well for Fenerbahce. 25-23 after a 25-10 first set.
Akebank have a mountain to climb. Huge team performance by Fenerbahce. Really tough serving in that first set. The second set, Vakipang turned up their own heat. Igonu starts playing her game. It is looking dangerous for the home team. Well, things did turn around in that set for Vakibank. Iconu had nine points compared to just three in the set before. She's now at nine. Gabi with five. Karabajima also with five, but no one really running away with it. Looking on the other side, though, Melissa Vargas has 11. Pedro Tseva has eight, including two aces. Anna Christina at nine. So a really aggressive spread out offense. And that all just starts with that first reception, which is going well for Fenerbahce. They've been the ones putting all the pressure on Vakipang. Now a shame to put all of that work to waste. There are those last two points. It all came down to just one swing and one ace. Vakipang going to have some regrets if they don't turn things back on for this next set. Coach, what do you have to do for coming back? We have to receive. If we, don't, if we receive, we can play volleyball. If we can play volleyball and maybe win the match. If we don't receive, it is impossible. Coach, what do you have to do for proceeding the game? Excuse me, I didn't... Coach, what do you have to do uh, to proceed your level? Oh, okay. It's not depending just of us, uh, of course. We expect then... Uh, Vakif team will play uh, better and better to the end of the game, of course. Uh, we must push more. We must push more pressure on them in the next set if we want to win. But okay, till now it's uh, everything It's okay. Uh, second set it was a little bit worse than first one it means with much more mistakes but i hope we finish with mistake for this game well two different very different responses from two very different positions that these coaches are in giovanni guidetti well pretty short sharp and sweet all we need to do is receive if we can receive we can play volleyball and he's absolutely right this is a team that has so many weapons but if jansu's not in a position to set what she wants to run her offensive game then it just ends up being high ball here high ball there scrappy play here and there and it's just a really tough up against a well-formed block that is Fenerbahce so they're putting all the pressure from the end line as you can see here are some of the stats so far three aces for Fenerbahce I have four in my notes I have one for Vargas one for Vuchkova, one for Eda Erdem, and one for Makris. thought Jansu as well had one. Jansu Chetin also got that ace, that last ace. Not sure where, where that ended up on the stats, but nevertheless, big ask now of Vakif Bank. Can they come back into this game, not only physically against a very strong Fenerbahce, but mentally? after being down 2-0. Now, it's not impossible. We've seen it happen time and time again 
fact, just yesterday, Zajibashi came back from being down 2-0 against Novara, only to lose in the fifth. But it is everything still yet to play for if Bakif Bank can improve their reception. For now, they're in the serve. Set number three, Gansu has the first one. She sends it right down to Anna Christina. Vargas has the first fire. And she'll get it cross court from the back court. And that was something that Coach Guidetti was asking them about very early, early on when she's swinging from the back court, take more cross on her. That was pretty clear. And again, she can hit anywhere. Iganu with another error, not like the Iganu we're used to seeing. Reminder, in the last match, Iganu 36 points. Right now, she's on nine. Well, it's not just her with the errors. Dana Gunesh going high and wide. Question mark, was there a touch? Ooh, potentially could have been. Kuchkova looking a little guilty, but on they play. No challenge called. Bajima into a big, huge stuff block from Vuchkova. Well, if you're the middle blocker, Vuchkova, that's a great read. A couple other players have already tried. The last response. Timeout. Well, now I'm second guessing myself. I thought he had asked them to close cross when Vargas is in the back court, but from zone one, close line is what he's saying now. So he wants his team just to be working together at the very least, be all on the same page, whether it's right or wrong, everyone needs to be in the same direction and playing the same playbook. Nice response from Vakif, working at the net, making it tougher for Fenner to make that point. So quiet in this gym though, I'm so surprised. There's a lot more just booing than actual cheering. Good pickup. Here comes Iganu. Cross off the hands. Vargas again. Goes into the block and down. Nice response there from, good reactions I should say, from Gunesh. Taking full responsibility, floating ever so slightly. Vargas racking up some more points for Fenerbahce. Five to one. Up serve from Fedotseva. Great response. Much better reception there from Vakif Bank, allowing Jansu to run that ball high and wide to Gabby. Going off the fingertips. And it's Gunesh to serve. And Christina does exactly the same thing, but even more power on it. Going up against Iganu and Chiaka. Very tough looking block, but you see the arms of Iganu floating and reaching, giving her that target. Ball outside to Gabby. She's found hands. So has the defense, though. Vargas to the middle. Ajima going high to Gabby. Searching for that corner of Baklava. Does not find it this time. Just a couple of inches too long. now in the reception in the libera jersey 
much better. Perfect ball in. And Ganu finds the sideline. And that's a great change. And then Acha making that ball, putting it up on a platter for her setter. And that's exactly what Vakipong need more of. Well, that in addition to some service pressure. Trying to mirror what Fenerbahce's doing. Eight three. Just long. Let's see what Gabby's got. Champions League gold medalist MVP of it last season. Ivanu going for the touch and she gets it. Nice high swing, clever. Doesn't try to swing down, sees the blockers. Goes for the fingertip. She's at the disadvantage there as she's kind of flying into the ball. Goes to the net. Rodotseva. Get some help from Macris, as does Vargas, and things continue to flow. Pakif Bank, even from completely out of system, I mean, their setters running off the court, bump setting back, high ball, blockers are up, and still Vargas finding a way deep cross court past the block. Incredible work by her. And Christina, tough serve, but nice work from Pakif Bank. Free ball coming. Chaka's on that, so is the dig. And the response, Fenerbahce in the mood to get this set over and done with quickly. They are already double the points of their opponent at 10 to five. One quick change, setter for setter. Buket Gulubai comes in, the 23 year old in her second season. With Vakifank. Off the hands, picked up. Oh, great defense from Vargas. And the tip throw, not down yet. What's Bajama got? Looks for hands, they're not there. And Fenerbahce continues to steamroll in the right direction. That pickup by Vargas as well. You think. You're talking about these players as offensive weapons, but think about how many defensive touches that Fedorovseva and Vargas and Anna Cristina are getting on their side as well. It is a whole package of players. Nika Daldorov in for Bajama. Oh, good responses. Ooh, scramble play. All right, back over to Vakibank. The swing from Iganu puts it away quickly. Nicely done by Chaka to get that out of the net so the setter could then go and run what she wants. And what she wants, well, it's a Ganu to get a kill like that. 11 as Fenerbahce, 6 for Vakif. They can come back in this set, but they are going to have to start now. And Christina with a great ball in. And the swing off Gabby's hands. Just all things looking so, so smooth for Fenerbahce. Ada Erdem finds Daldrop, and she gets one down the line. So we haven't seen a lot of her offensive action. She hasn't been in that position to attack as of yet in the match. So a little bit of added uncertainty element. Vargas again and again and again and again continues to fire relentlessly off the hands, around the block, past the block, deep corner. Is there anything that she's not capable of doing?
Great swing from the middle, but the block is there. Chance again for Igonu, who's blocked. Comes scrambling back over there. Now free ball for Fener. Tip from Fedorovseva. It's a little bit too tight right into the hands of Paolo Igonu. The good reactions there to keep the ball alive. Fedorovseva doing everything she could to push that off the hands and out. Now 13 for the visiting team, eight for the home team. High ball, and it goes in. Big stuff block from Gunesh. More of that needed for the home team. Sarah Gunesh, the 23-year-old, was the best middle of Champions League last season. Was blocker of the Olympics in 2021 as well. Another attempt to put pressure on Fenerbahce goes long. Things looking a little dismal now if you're Vakif Bank. Is this a timeout or is it a challenge? A challenge? Well, I don't think Giovanni Guadetti actually thought that ball was in. It's a nail-biting occasion for players and fans alike. Oh, another one. And another ace serve. Pedro Seva, that's three. You cannot take your eye off the ball, off of her, off of the prize. She is relentless from the end line. Goes again. And a bit low for her. Fifteen to ten. Akibank five points down. Need to get some heat here. That's not going to help. Anna Christina forcing the issue. And this is the problem. Well, if you're a team, any team on the other side of the court from Fenerbahce, they don't have a weak link. They have excellent middles. They have release hitters. They can also run speed. They have Macris who's setting from bump setting off the court and still putting up butter. There just isn't, well, there isn't a response, but if there is, it's gonna come in that shape right there, the shape of Polygonu, who can be the game changer. Woo, what a line shot. What a merciless swing. And a Christina. Gets them running. That's a free ball coming from Gabby. Chance for Gizem to put that perfectly up and perfectly back down from Vargas. Now, Melissa Vargas, only 23 years old. Was the best scorer of the Champions League in 2019. Has two Champions League bronze medals, but she is on a mission to get a gold medal for her team this year. Commentator's curse. Fenerbahce fans are enjoying it. They're just about the only ones in the stadium making a peep. Hey there, Evgen. He's the best blocker of the Super Cup in 2023. Hasn't been getting a lot of offensive action because of the rest of the players. Just do not miss. Vargas, Anna Cristina, and Pedro Seva are just eating up every single ball that Macris is sending to them. I mean, where do you block? If you're standing on the net, if you're middle blocker against this team, who do you prioritize? That's the question that Giovanni has to answer. <laughs> happens to the best of us. It happens to everyone. 
forget that these players also are so young. Anna Cristina, 18. Melissa Vargas, 23. Federer Tseva, 19. I mean, this is a next generation of players that are proving that our sport is just getting faster and stronger and well, better. More fun to watch. Data Chebiolu in for the serve. Doesn't make much of a difference though. Fedorotseva has her way on the outside and her way or the highway is how this match seems to be going. 19 years old. Best outside hitter of the club world champs in 2022 was Fedorotseva. So Ana Lazareva now stepping in. to block, so no setter on court now for Fenerbahce, doesn't matter. Back of bank, get a cheap and easy one. And that's the moment to do those kind of shots. Certainly, Fenerbahce were not expecting it. Good ball in from Fedorotseva, back to Vargas, she goes down the line. She just goes wherever she wants, really. If you block her line, she'll take cross. If you take line, she'll go cross. If you go high, she'll go low. If you go straight over, she'll tip. She's just, she has not failed yet in the offense. There's the Aganu that Vakifang need more of. that little conversation was about. I'm imagining it was, set me the ball. All the time, anytime you have a chance to set, just set me the ball. There's a good serve. Ooh, hope gives him all right. Felt a little bit rough there. The 29 year old libero, also of the Turkish team. Ooh, that looked like a rough fall. Best libero of the Turkish Super Cup in 2023. Quiet, unsung he hero of this Fenerbahce side. She steps into set. Fedotseva dug by the foot. Oh, and it's come back over. Chance for Fener to put it away. Not yet. Good responses. Gabby's up with the tip set. That's Libero back on the floor again. Vargas to swing, and she goes just outside. And Vakifang needed that point dramatically. They need it for momentum, they need it for the psychology, they need it for, they just need it for, for the point itself. Now three point spread, timeout. how that last point went. What a scramble. That one could have fallen. A smart play by Gabby, but ultimately just wide, and they had to fight for it and earn it. Akifang might just believe they can come back into this. And another one. Another one goes wide. That's two wide swings in a row from Vargas, who has barely put a foot wrong all match long. Would this be the momentum swing that Bakifang need? Your Fenerbahce, you know they are a team that will fight, can fight, can win. But an unforced error goes back to Fenerbahce. You felt like that was the moment. Potentially there was a touch on that, but remember one wasted challenge already earlier on. 
when Giovanni Guidetti asked if the ball was in or out just to have a chat to his players. It might not be the time to challenge again. Instead, the point goes back to Fenerbahce. And the ace comes firing through Fedorotseva. That's number four. Well, a good time if you're a Fenerbahce fan. It's a four-point lead again and a timeout. We keep the same and we go. Bye. You never said to say one time in five. You just said it's six one. I know. Only six one. Give to me to the God. Aye, aye. Okay. Aye, that's the word. Perfectly placed down the channel. Well, I don't know if any of you were watching the Rupe Prime Volleyball League where it's two points if you get an ace without anyone touching it. So I feel like that's the mentality that Vakipunk needs to take right now. His coach, their coach saying, just touch it, touch the ball, make a move for it because well, that's the first step in getting it up. But I think that's what they were hoping for the first time around. That'll do. 22 to 19 now, almost exactly the same serve. And you feel that is a, a sigh of relief, just a breath of fresh air for Vakipunk, but they need a huge shift right here. That's not gonna do it, block out. And Christina continuing to do what she's done all match long. Just use the hands in front of her. They're big hands too. Igonu right there. John Suchetin. I'm sure that Fenerbahce will remember well her ace to finish off set number two. Much better handled by Eileen. And the ball comes firing back from Igonu. Well, it's now or never for Vakifank. 20 to 23. Igonu at the line. She can get some aces. She needs them now. That's not the one. And just as Fenerbahce will have hoped and dreamed. They have match point to win 3-0 over Vakifank. Argus goes for it and she gets another ace serve. It is done and dusted. Three sets to zero for this incredible Fenerbahce side who left no stone unturned against Vakifank. They gave them no room to breathe the tiniest sliver of hope in set number two. But set number three, they were on a mission and let everybody in the stadium know that they had come to win and win they did and win big. Well, a regrettable result for the home team of Vakifank here in the semifinals of the Champions League 2023. They now have a second leg where they must win either 3-0 or 3-1 to force a golden set and an opportunity. Meanwhile, MVP of the match has been decided. No surprises there. Melissa Vargas, you were absolutely incredible. Huge compliments to her for her performance. Looked like every single ball she touched just turned to gold. And Vakifank had no response how to stop her. Soren Tetsic with a cheeky little smile on his face, well deserved. Whatever he did in the scouting room, in the reports, well, it was all correct. They shut down a very strong Vakifang side. 
gave them nowhere to go. But back home into the locker room and sulk. 3-0. That first set, 20 minutes, 25 to 10. Remember there in the second one, Back at Bank responded and they had the lead almost the whole way through for that very last two points. And the last two sets ended with an ace. Huge performance, huge from Fenerbahce. They are now the team to beat without a doubt. All they need in this next matchup are two sets to go their way and they will be headed into the final. Coach, uh, what was the most important point in this uh, victory? Excuse me? What was the most important point in this victory? Uh, you know, when you play a game like this, uh, with uh, this kind of opponent, uh, cannot be one point. You must play good in all, all volleyball elements if you want to win a team like Vaki. But definitely our uh, outside hitters uh, attack, uh, especially, and the service, of course, is our maybe main weapon to win today. Well, a short and sweet message there from Coach Zoran Tetsic. He's just over the moon about the performance overall, that team performance. Here's a look at the match. Wow, words. Statistics overall. As you can see there, 57 points to 36. 10 aces to 1. And just a huge team performance overall. Melissa Vargas had 19 points. Anna Cristina had 13. Fedo Tseva had 12, including those four aces. There just was no response from Vakif Bank. 17 points for Paula Egonu, and that was the best on the team. No one else in double digits. But we know she can normally do better than that. She had 36 points last time she was on the court. But unfortunately, not enough for Vakibank tonight. Well, join us again next week as these two face off again at 7 p.m. local time on Thursday, the 13th of April, to see who will advance to the finals. But for now, for myself, Key Michael, and all of us here at the CV, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next time. First of all, congratulations, Dad. What would you say for this game? What? What would you say for this game? Uh, this game, uh, uh, our team play good, so good. 
but you need concentrate and another more game for go to final. So what was the most important point in this victory? Last point. Uh, what was the most important point for this victory? What was the most important point? point? Yeah, yeah. What I was... think last uh, with Sir. What about your own performance today? Would you please compare for this? Would you please comment on your own performance? I think good. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Öncelikle tebrik ederim kaptan. Ee, duygularını almak istedim.